Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how to use a lot of the gauge cluster features on the 2015 through 2020 Yukon Denali. So while going through this, we're going to be using these arrow buttons. It's going to, and the check mark in the middle is enter. So when we talk about up, down, right, and left, uh, that's what we're referring to. But we'll go ahead and get started here and show you all the cool stuff that you can do. A question I get all the time is how do I change it to the red gauges? Some people have the blue, and that was actually something that was changed in uh, 2017, I believe. So 2015 and 16 have the red gauges. There's no real way to change that portion of it. Uh, right now, I have the car off. I just held the start key without pushing on the brake pedal, so it went into the menu to show you here. So that's why um, the car's not running or anything. That's why it shows check engine light and everything else. But anyway, we're gonna use the steering wheel buttons to go through these. First of all, this is how the car is originally set up. And by just pushing the down arrow on the right hand side, you can go from uh, this one here that shows a digital readout of your of speedometer and uh, also has the mileage. Okay, that's the main one. When you go down one, it's gonna show you um, basically your trip meter your average fuel economy and your average speed, okay? And uh, this truck, just for the most part, this is a 6.2 liter V8 Yukon. It's not the XL longer one. And it gets anywhere from uh, 15 to 18 uh, around town is kind of normal. It just depends on how much you idle. But uh, anyway, that's kind of typical what we're seeing here about 15.8. And then you have a second trip if you go down one more, uh, same thing. And then uh, let's go ahead and go down one more. It's gonna tell you your fuel range. And instant, it's telling you if the car is in the V8 mode or it will go green to the, I, uh, to the V4 mode, showing you that only four cylinders are firing to save fuel uh, economy. And then it'll give you a readout of your miles per gallon. So obviously we're at zero right now. Um, uh, next you have the oil remaining life and I really like this gauge. I think it's cool that it shows you what the oil would look like. Um, we're at 85% so you can see it's down just a little bit um, and it's uh, telling you what color the oil should look like. That's kind of a, a really neat gauge. Uh, going down again you have tire pressure and it'll tell you. Now I put uh, 2019 wheels on this one so the tire pressure sensors are different and so it'll just give you the dots. Otherwise it'll show you which uh, tire is what at what PSI. And along those lines, something you should know is if you rotate your tires, it still thinks that that tire is on the front. And so if you, for example, had low air pressure in your front tire but you rotated your tires and it's on the back, it will still show the front tires being low. And so there is a way to calibrate it so that the car remembers and knows which wheel is on which position. So I'll put a link to that video description in, uh, in the video description where you can see how to set that. There's a tool you have to buy. You used to be able to just drop air pressure, but uh, it's changed. So you have to actually buy a tool for that. It's only 15 bucks on Amazon. Okay, next, uh, this will show you another miles per gallon economy thing. And it's really cool to show you your best and average. And it lights up uh, basically from um, the yellow at the bottom, and then it goes green as you get towards the top. Uh, then this is the trailer brake controller as you go down one more. So that's uh, talking about how um, much braking is being applied to your trailer if you have trailer brakes. And I have a video on that, and I'll put the link to that in the video description as well so you can see that. Okay. Uh, next, this is really cool. It's an off-road mode. And so it'll show you if you're in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Uh, if you can see uh, right now, it's in two-wheel drive. So the drive shaft and the rear axle is a solid gray. And then the four-wheel drive front axle is not gray at all. It's just, uh, it's a darker gray. So when you go into four-wheel drive, it'll actually change to say four-wheel drive and it'll show the front axles. So that's really cool. And as you turn the steering wheel, the zero percent angle right at the top middle of the vehicle will show you which way your wheels are turned and then uh, on the left it'll show you your approach angle up and down in degrees and then on the right it'll show you uh, you know how much the car is rolling to each side and in, in degrees so that's a really cool off-roading feature that it has okay and then you have a blank screen after that and that's uh, pretty much it now uh, i will show you a little bit later in the video you have to add in some of these so if, if they're not showing up you have to choose how many pages as these are called um, that you have on and which ones you want so if you go in and you don't see a trailer brake one 
or you know some of the others, you may have to add them. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, next we're gonna use the side arrow. And uh, so that's gonna be going over here. And so when you push the side button, it's gonna have information, which is what we're on now. If you go down one, it's gonna show audio. So as you click on that, it would show if your phone is plugged into a USB, it'll show the artist and you know all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so you just uh, can do your music from there. Okay, next you have the phone setting. So if you go down onto that, it'll show you what your phone is currently doing. And uh, my iPhone, um, is connected but there's nothing that I'm doing on it right now but and now if you hit buttons like the talk button uh, you can do voice commands to call people and that kind of thing okay so next we're gonna look at navigation something that you want to know about navigation is it will not work anymore if you have stopped paying for the subscription okay so uh, for the first part of the vehicle it had a subscription that was paid for and then that goes away. You have to pay five to twenty dollars a month or something like that for the navigation, and everything to work. So uh, you also notice at the very top here, this right here would show northeast, southwest. Now it just shows dot dot, and it doesn't move. Um, so your compass does not work either, unless you're paying for that subscription. Okay. Uh, next, you have the settings. We're going to go ahead and click onto that one. And so this will tell you if you want it in U.S. and what units you want. Okay, and as you scroll down, standard, uh, let's go through this one. And now we're gonna hit the right button to go from standard, which I just showed you, we'll go down to technology. So technology is a whole new setup and it's really cool looking. Okay, so it's just a, a different look and now it looks like you have three gauges instead of the two. If you were to, to look at that and see how it looks like it's three circles. And so, um, I like this one, it's fun to use when driving around and using cruise control and everything. Um, the only thing I don't like about the technology is one, uh, if you haven't paid for things, then a lot of it doesn't do you much good if you haven't paid for that subscription. Next, all you have is a fuel gauge and a temperature gauge. So you lose the, um, the voltage and you lose the oil pressure. So you lose a lot of gauges. So you probably wouldn't wanna have this one on if you're towing or you know doing anything like that. So anyway, uh, that's the, the theme for technology. And then if you go back um, in technology mode, you can see that it's just the same thing. It's just laid out differently. So here's the different ones that we've had that we just went through. And it shows them just the same. It's just kind of a different layout, so it's kind of cool. So let's go back into settings. Um, and so that was our technology one. Uh, now let's go down to media. So media, again, it's kind of a, a similar one. It changes it. It'll show you better things if you're connected to your phone of uh, artists and everything, the music you're listening to and all that. Same thing on this, it's only showing you the fuel readout on the right and the temperature readout on the left. So you don't have as many uh, automotive gauges per se. Uh, okay, and uh, so th that's those three here. And so as you, as you saw here, uh, if you hit that right button and you go into technology or whatnot, and then you hit the right button again. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Okay, there it is. So we're in the technology one now. If you hit the down button, that's where, see how it says nine out of 12 pages are shown. So if we hit the right button to see which ones those are, you have trip meter, trip B, fuel range, oil life, uh, tire pressure, fuel economy. Um, I don't have a fuel used and timer on. I don't have a speed limit on. And um, I have the trailer brake controller. I have the off-road mode. I don't have engine hours. It's just another one that's not too necessary for me. And then uh, the blank page if you want to just have it blank. So those are the ones that I've selected. And that's how you would select those. Okay, so you'd have to just basically go into here where it says, uh, you know, you're on the we're choosing if we are settings, okay? And so here's also where you can go to update some controls and things. I haven't really done anything with that. So anyway, um, there's speed warnings if you wanna enable those. I don't need them going off at me all the time. Um, 
and so now we're kind of back to where we were. Here's our US technology and all the different uh, packages here. So um, that's how those ones pretty much all work. Here we are back at our, our normal screen. And if you were to go down, it's the same thing. It's uh, how you're, if you go to the pages and then go to the right, that's how it's gonna give you all those options. So that's how you can turn all those on. Okay, so that's it for all of these. Let's go back into info. And uh, yeah, any of these that you want to reset, you know, for example, if you want to reset your um, current mileage, now you'll just go to the right arrow and it, you can choose, I want to see my best 25 mile score, best 50, 400 for longer trips, and then you can just reset them. And then, so now it's basically just starting over. So um, that's uh, basically how that one works. And um, as far as the gauges here at the top, you have your oil pressure on the left, you have your coolant temperature, your engine temperature, you have your fuel. Okay, and uh, then you have your battery volts on the top right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle here just to show you something kind of neat. Uh, at the very end of the shift lever, you have the tow haul button. So when I push that, watch what happens to the uh, battery it flips out and now it goes into a transmission temperature gauge, which is really cool. When I first bought this uh, truck, it actually was not working. I had to change the harness for the uh, temperature sensor to change. And I'll put a link to that video in the description. It's a very common problem. And so anyway, that's uh, the tow haul mode there as you, uh, as you do that. So um, once you hit tow haul again, you'll see the little trailer symbol comes on and uh, once you hit it again, it goes back. And so in the different modes, you know, for example, uh, let's see if I can go into a mode. It's showing me the that I'm in the garage. It doesn't want me to hit anything. Okay, we'll go into some of these other ones, for example. So let's go down to the settings. And we're gonna change this um, to the technology one. So standard, we're gonna go to the right. And let's go to technology. So here we are, technology, driving down the road. Um, so we'll back out, go back into our information. So here's what the technology one looks like. And so when you hit that tow haul button, it does give you a few more options. So now you do have you know, your uh, engine temperature, or you have your transmission temperature, you have your fuel, you have the oil pressure and the temperature, still no uh, volts meter so you lose that one and so you don't want to drive around in tow haul mode all the time or you're shifting at like 3,000 rpm and it's uh you know it's not as comfortable uses more fuel all that kind of thing so it will show you those if you hit tow haul but uh, otherwise just driving around it only gives you the two so anyway i have a ton of videos on this yukon i'll put the playlist in the video description if you want to scroll through that and watch the other videos from dropping the spare tire to changing the uh, harness for the transmission to changing the transmission oil, the engine oil, uh, all kinds of fun stuff, you know, folding the mirrors in automatically, um, setting the garage door opener, all that fun stuff. So please check the video description. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.